Hi, I'm Dr. Erin McDonald. I'm an astrophysicist and a science consultant for Star Trek. So I'm kind of a rocket scientist by day, warp drive expert by night. Erin McDonald is not an astronaut. She's an astrophysicist that helps Hollywood make more realistic movies set in space. Astrophysicist Dr. Erin McDonald might be just one of the smartest humans on this or any other planet. <laughs> it's not just her expansive knowledge of gravitational waves and general relativity that has gained international recognition. She also takes her skills on the road, sharing her knowledge at conventions right round the world. We have a huge crowd here. This is awesome. Are you excited to learn a little bit about some science and a little bit about some science fiction? Yeah, you are. All right. I help design um, satellites. I help the government try to figure out what they want to build and figure out if what is being built is correct. She has a PhD in astrophysics, as well as being uh, known for advising all of the current Star Trek series. Did her undergraduate degrees at University of Colorado at Boulder, where she dual majored in physics with astrophysics, cum laude, and mathematics. She earned her PhD at 25 years old from the University of Glasgow in gravitational astrophysics, scientific collaboration on gravitational waves from dead and colliding stars and black holes, contributed to the 2017 Nobel Prize in Physics. And a personally, just a really special experience was working on Star Trek Prodigy. I was also able to help develop the character of Rock Talk, who is a young girl who wants to be a scientist. So they were trying to like ask me about like, what was little Erin like when she wanted to like, how did she become a scientist? And so working on that was like really, really special to me um, because it was a little bit outside of that bandwidth of traditional science advising. Star Trek's brilliant science advisor, Dr. Aaron McDonald, who some of you may recognize from the season one finale of Star Trek Prodigy, is back. Pretty neat to, to have um, Dr. Aaron McDonald in the game as an actual character and aboard Captain Kim's ship. <laughs> Aaron McDonald, astrophysics. I was on my way to assist Admiral Kumarke when all hell broke loose. Frankly, I'm lucky to be alive. I'm a scientist, not a security officer. Not just am I in charge of making sure any science, real science dialogue is accurate, but also maintaining the legacy of the Star Trek science. Men and women in STEM were shown to be equally competent at their jobs. So it wasn't like, oh, the women don't know how to do it. it was, yeah. Right, and that is interesting, because I think that when they do take the time to have female STEM characters, they aren't portrayed as incompetent. They, they are good at their job. And I do think, I think anecdotally, we're starting to see more, too, that there tends, there's starting to be more parity in the biology and medicine field than in the physics world. And I'm sure that that has something to do with it as yes. well. So there you have it. I'm Dr. Erin McDonald, bringing you all the science facts behind the science fiction in Star Trek.